test your grit, test your abilities against one player that's ranked, you know, nationally, a national threat to you. So we're going to see if Xerx has what it takes to cut it against the best in the West here. Going with that signature mark. And JK actually using a secondary to Sheik. Warming up those hands. Sheik, very fast paced, very aggressive character. Gonna get started here. I feel like that's JK's place now. Super aggressive, in your face, just getting stuff done. Doesn't like to waste time. As you can see that right here. Ooh, great forward air combo there, breaking up by JK. Tries to get the, the second hit of that Bouncing Fish on Xerx. And there he goes with the forward throw into Bouncing Fish once again. A lot of damage there on that right side of the stage on Xerx. Almost converts that fair into a Bouncing Fish as well. And then the Vanish coming up from the ledge. Not uh, grabbing the ledge. Going to go above it using that active hitbox, that explosion. To take that first stock off of Xerx. Alright. JK having the stock lead. And with something started here. Very dominant in this match. I think he took his jump. He did. He took his second jump with that back air. And Xerx wasn't able. I, I, I don't think he knew. I don't think Xerx knew that his jump was gone. And he probably was waiting to go low to stay safe. But that jump was already long gone. And now that game one looking like a thing of the past. Long gone in itself. We're going to be going on to game two. I don't feel like JK feels the need to switch. But Zerx definitely does. Going to go with that Lucina, which he has been practicing. So we're going to see if that's going to be the answer here to the Sheik. And going to Town and City. Amazing. I don't, I don't know why I just made that face. Alright, so JK with the Sheik once again. Ooh, that was almost a slick combo right there. Oh, bad up B by Zerx going above the ledge. He didn't caught, but he didn't get caught for too much. Only 43% on him now. Trying to get something started on JK. JK staying super aware. Super cerebral. Chaser. A lot of moves whiffing on both sides. There here goes JK again. On that same, that right side of the stage. Zerx breaking out that jab and then getting hit right back into it. That's catching him. This is a, just a barrage from Sheik. is a little bit hard to deal with. She's in your face with all these moves that are relatively safe. Ooh, catches him out of the second jump with that bouncing fist. JK now, once again, with a stock up here in game two. Might take it 2 well, but we'll see if Zerx can cut it. Turn this into a game three situation. Has him on the platform. The void combos. Oh my goodness, confirms the bouncing fish. I'm sorry, Zerx. Oh my god. You have to wonder how it feels. You have to if if you watch that and you didn't you didn't feel that cringe, you didn't feel that that icy chill going up your spine as you felt what Zerx felt just now, you're not human. I definitely felt something watching that. I think a little piece of me died. With Zerk's stock, I think Zerk's died, and a little piece of me.